Susan Socorro. Welcome to the show, and thank you for joining me. Well, you know, when the hand ringing starts about the homeless problem in San Francisco, you often hear, there's no long-term solution. Well, now there just may be, because Reverend Cecil Williams is here. And on August 14th, the Cecil Williams Glide Community House is now, as I've been, is up and running, as promised. And he's going to tell us about how this place is going to help people who are down on their luck and need some time and space to make getting back on their feet doable. Welcome. Thank you. And Susan. congratulations, because we talked about this last time you yes, were here we and it did, wasn't quite we? done. Right. My husband just went by it the other day and he says it looks fantastic. I think it does too. Okay. And it looks What's fantastic. Gonna do? Well, it, it looks fantastic because uh, the people who uh, are going to live there uh, are the ones who help draw the lines with the architects. Mm -hmm. And they said, what we want, for instance, is a closet, a spacious closet. We don't have closets. Mm -hmm. And so we just have to put our clothes wherever. So we made sure. We, we have walk-in closets in some of, the, some of the apartments. I mean, walk-in closets. That's so that's, yeah. that's really quite a feat. You know, but, but to, to put all this together, just to backtrack right. a little bit, there had to, I mean, your faith, hands down, is stronger than mine will ever be, I'm sure. You know, and I'm in awe, and I'm working toward it. <laughs> but were there moments when you looked around and said, gosh, what are we into? This is overwhelming. I mean, there had Many to be moments. those moments. Many moments like that. And, and I think the important thing is if you start from the bottom, mainly with the people, in one way or another that it's going to affect, and if you also then call in the experts, mm -hmm. those who have been doing it. For instance, we went to Bridge. Bridge is, is one of the best uh, companies in America in regards to low-cost housing. And they said, we will work with you. Uh, I, I got some sharp lawyers who had been doing this kind of work, but t we turned them toward, of course, the homeless. So you have to have that. Then you go to folks like the Redevelopment Agency, and you go to the Bank of America, mm -hmm. and you go to uh, uh, Transamerica, and you talk with folks there, and you say, here is what we have with your architects and with your people. And then you, we created a board, housing board. My God, amazing. All of, we had so many resources. So people Susan. showed up for you. Yeah, yeah. And they worked That's hard. That's encouraging. They worked hard. And at times we said, oh my God, we can't go on. And somebody would say, oh, we must go on. Uh -huh. And that's what happened. Yeah. Let's get some nuts and bolts about how all this right. place works. First of all, um, who's going to get into this? Because there's only so many units, right? Yeah. 52 units? That's right. We have, right now, um, we have over 3,000 people who are on the waiting list. Uh, we will not open up again now for people to make application until January. Mm -hmm. But what we're doing is that there are people who, who are in recovery. Some of them will, will go in recovery from alcohol and from, from drugs. We have women and children, uh, women who've been battered and beaten. Uh, we'll have go a place in. to go. Some, yes. Mm -hmm. We have a HIV slash AIDS persons mm -hmm. who will go also. Two floors will, will be with persons who, are, who, who have gone through and still going through HIV slash AIDS. The, then we have, very interesting, those who are just homeless, mm -hmm. who've been waiting for a long time to get a place. Usually these are uh, individual, like men, a number of men. But what we've done is brought together a, a, a multifaceted program by which it will work out of that, that so facility. So this is not just a place to flop no, or no, stay. No, no. This is a place where you get your act together, oh, literally. Yeah. Where There's you a place recover. to shower and to there learn how to dress and do an interview. And somebody right. will watch your kids while you're learning this stuff. Yeah. And you're expected that there's going to be results at the end, right? You better know. Now, is there a time limit? Because I would assume, and this is maybe the only heartbreaking point about it, or the only downside, is that for every one you take, there's got to be many more who can't go in. That's right. And, and the issue is, we have been bitten by the development board now. We, we're developing, and we've decided that we're going to build some more housing. Uh -huh. Glide is going to move in the future toward housing many more people. Mm. And the reason we are is because we think we've gone through the hard trials and tribulations, and now we know what to do. Do they have to pay rent? Yeah. 30% of what they earn, mm -hmm. they pay. So whatever they 
Yes. You start with what they earn, That's right. and then only 30% of that 30%. will be, okay. So it runs from about $300 to, to $800. And what if they don't have a job? Well, they still get the place. Mm -hmm. So they can, can they go in it's for free? It's supplemented. It is suppl supplemented, yes. And for a certain amount of time, is that it? And then the, they have to, ev no? Everybody's permanent. But we know that in being permanent, you also say, look, I want to do things for myself mm -hmm. on my own. And I want a place that, uh, that I can own. It's mine. Okay. And gonna, so they move on. We're going to stop and take a break okay. here. When we come back, a lot of people might say, well, this might be a place for people who are alcoholics or who are addicted to drugs to just flop and then continue their habit when Reverend's not looking. Uh, there's going to be a clean and sober environment. We'll find out are. how to, they're going to ensure that at this community house when we return. Reverend Cecil Williams is our guest, and he is here. We are really celebrating the opening of the Glide Community. It's actually the Cecil Williams Glide Community House. You know, I'm so glad you got that in. <laughs> <laughs> and well-deserved, too. Well-named. Okay, and this is a place where people are going to have the time and the space to get things together, because they often say, and I think I read this in the street sheet, and we'll be talking to some right. folks about that later, that a lot of times people who are down on their luck are, are kind of caught between, I think it's a vice it was called, between the high cost of housing, and even if you have a little job yeah. and then the unemployment that there That's is it's a tough place the bay area sure to make the numbers work sure, on a sure, daily basis sure. and if you have to show up for work and your big problem is when you go home from work today where am i going to get a shower tonight yes. so i look good and smell okay tomorrow that's, that's right. what this answers. That, that part this of it. answers in not only part of it what we've got going is that we have close to 15 counselors and personnel who will be working in that building day and night to help people in recovery, to help people to stay clean, to help people uh, make sure that they uh, not only take care of their rent, but they also get jobs, to make sure that the children, we have an infant daycare center mm -hmm. there in the building, and that's unheard of. You're you have child care. But yeah. not infant. We have infant. Your wife Janice runs. Was it thirty nine programs? Did I read fifty two? Excuse programs. me, Janice. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Talk about the preacher's wife being busy here. Let me tell you. And I thought to myself when I first read this, I thought, Holy cow! Now he's giving yeah. her some, you know, ninety more things to do. But in a way, this I think it sounds like this takes everything she does and puts it in one center That's for her. Right. That's right. See, we have the program areas in another building. But we're moving a lot of those programs into that building But as will well. other people who are not in the housing still get served? Everybody's going to be served. Everybody's oh, going to yes. be served. Now, what about the money, Cecil? Because this can be, you know, you've got to have a steady... I mean, I know Oprah's right. been in town, wrote a right. check here and there. You're you right. mentioned Bank of America. You're right. You're right. Is it steady? Is it constant? Or do we have to worry about this all we the time? We always work toward raising funds. Uh -huh. But the important thing is, it, it, even though it's a priority, we don't become... Uh, burdened with trying to get the money. Mm -hmm. We go on and do the work and the money comes. Mm -hmm. you, if you see this place, Susan, and I want to invite everybody to come by and see this place. It's unbelievable. We, we have a place that has a rooftop garden, that has a courtyard garden on the, on the ground floor. We have water trickling down uh, uh, some stone where words are etched in. So there's aesthetics. It's oh, attractive. It's a oh good place to be. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. And that, yes. that's, you know, that's nourishing for the soul, too, sure. I would think. Yeah. I mean, if your soul's not nourished, if your soul is killed, it's yeah. hard to go out every day and be perky on the job. You know what one of our people said? Uh, the, the day that the building opened, I took, first of all, the people from the street. I said, you are first to go through this building. Uh -huh. And they walked through with me, hundreds of them. Yeah. And one woman said, as we were standing in the, in, the, in the garden floor where the courtyard is, and the water trickling down this mm. huge uh, fountain, uh, all of a sudden the woman says, at last, we've got a place for peace in the Tenderloin. Mm. Wow. Isn't that something? Yes, and it, it's, it, it, it says it all right, right there. That's right. Uh, clean and sober environment. You are determined it will be. If that's there's right. anyone that can do it, I believe it's you. Well. How are you going to do that? There's a lot of people out there, the Doubting Thomases, who yeah. will say, I don't know, how do you know someone's not going to slip in and start drinking and they can hide it? And What do you do? They're right. Uh, we know that they're hustlers, what we call hustlers, always, no matter what you do. Yeah. You know, there are going to be a certain number of folks who are going to try to hustle you. 
because they need to hustle themselves. And what we try to do is say to them, we're going to always deal with your recovery. And so what we have, we have a number of recovery groups at Glide. Mm -hmm. They've been there for some 15 or 20 years. These recovery groups are going to also, uh, many of them, work out of that place itself. Uh -huh. And so what we'll have on a constant bait every day, there will be recovery. On the other hand, the people who stay there have formed a, a community group uh -huh. uh, uh, from the house who will look after anything that looks like it's not working. Mm -hmm. They're going to Vigilance. take on them all. Yeah. Take it on. Yeah. And then we, it's a safe place because we've got all kinds of security mm -hmm. going there. But Vigilant, but not the Gestapo. No, no. Yeah, no, okay. No. Uh, very we want, quickly. We want people to recover. It seems to me that since you don't want to rush people out of there, you've got to give them the time. They don't want to feel like they're playing beat the clock and it's ticking. Right. But I assume the next thing is to build someplace else. So what's next? What's next is we, we have been bitten by building, uh -huh. uh, housing. And you've got all the people lined up, so why not? <laughs> That's Let's right. go. Let's Over 3,000. You know development. <laughs> <laughs> right. So we've got go and as long as you've got folks like you who will call us on your show and say let's talk about what you're doing it puts us in a position to say to the general public well here's the direction we're going we're as long going as I'm to be on this show housing for people as long as I'm here you always have a seat Thank here you. God love you I, I appreciate what you're doing and you do a lot of the work but a lot of us are not strong enough or maybe gutsy enough to do sometimes we're too weak to do it and I think the fact that you do it is a gift to our city well thank you thank you for always calling us okay well if you want to help uh, the Reverend Cecil Williams with the community house all donations are gratefully received yeah. Glide Memorial Church just send it there 330 330 Ellis Street San Francisco California or just call 771 6300 that's 771 6300 and my best to your lovely you, wife Janice friend. thank you one of the busiest women on the planet I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good work yeah it's good thank work. you thank you, thank you. Uh,